How do you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today I'm going to be discussing my time as a professional dart player where I was on the PDC tour for 11 years and I'm going to be looking at players that I played on that tour who I personally believe are the slowest players I have played. Now this is two things first of all don't get too excited and start hammering me in the comment section I'm talking about you Glenda and yes you're going to feature on this list but this is based on how I felt in those games. This is probably by no means the slowest players on the tour by any estimation. It's just purely how it felt at the time we were within those matches. So, in a way, this could be maybe the most uncomfortable players I play due to the pace in which they play at. Now, a lot of people will think that Justin Pipe will be on this list or very high in this list, but I'm going to tell you now, he's not. So, spoiler alert there for you. But Justin Pipe doesn't feature on this list because this is going to be based on, like I say, the feeling. I have a stopwatch on this and worked it out. And whenever I played Justin Pipe, although he actually delivered the darts slowly, he would get to the Oki, take his darts out, and be out of the way extremely quick. So, in fact, although he delivered the throw slowly, the time it took me to return for my next visit felt very different and that's very different when you play Brendan Dolan his pace changes throughout the game and he can adapt his pace to suit how he feels at the time sometimes Brendan will throw a little bit quicker sometimes he'll slow it right down and have a lot of process time in there as well and for that reason it makes him a real awkward player to play because one minute you might be playing at a fairly decent pace the next it's quite slow and it doesn't tend to affect his level of performance. You tend to get the same sort of Brendan Dolan all the way through. So pace-wise, he has to be on this list, and he is number five. In at number four, I'm going to give this to Andy Hamilton. Now, you might think Andy Hamilton's not obviously the slowest player, but he's not quick with his throw. He's got that little quirk in his action as well, that sort of set point and that arm movement before he throws and releases but he's one of these players that isn't quick on the retrieval side so a little bit slower down the hockey and a little bit slower to retrieve the darts and that just means you're off the hockey a little bit longer and he just becomes a little bit more awkward to pay pace wise certainly for me who's more about rhythm and flow so again that's something else to remember when we're looking at this video Someone like a Peter Wright, for example, who's an aimer, who's a setter of the dart, may not find it as awkward playing against these sort of players as someone like me, who's all on rhythm. Other people that have process, got to look at Glenn Durant. He sort of is slow in the throw. He's quick to retrieve, you got to give him that, but it's the process behind it. You'll see him often either blowing on his hands or waiting until you're out of his eye line before approaching the hockey. And even then, it's not set and throw. He stands, he prepares. It's a very manufactured throw, which just takes that little bit of extra time. Scott Mitchell, also on that list for that exact same reason as Glenn Duran. That's why they are number three and number two. Scott Mitchell is not too slow in the actual throwing of the dart. I'm sure if we put a stopwatch on that side of things, he'd be quite high up in the list of actually away from the slowest. But it's the process from collecting the darts, from throwing the last dart, the process of walking down the hockey, retrieving the darts, and exiting the hockey to the point you can then throw again. That's what makes him one of the real slow players in the world of darts. Now just take a moment at this point of the video. Hit pause if you need to. Have a think about who may be in that number one position. Now, remember, I've been around since 2011, so a lot of years seeing a lot of players come and go. Who could be that number one position? If you have paused this at this point, go down into the comments section and let me know who you think it might be. I'll be really interested to know who people think the number one slowest player is that I have played before I reveal it. Hopefully now we're ready to go. Though For me... Peter Everson, the upset winner of the world match play many moons ago, he was all of the above. So the things in which we've mentioned so far, players who are slow in process, which is walking down the hockey, players that are slow in retrieving the darts out the board, exiting the hockey to the point that you can then throw an out of the eye line, but then also the deliberation of the throw. For me, Peter Everson was one of the hardest players to play for that reason, and... Obviously, the fact as well of reputation. Reputation goes quite away when you've got a title like the world match play on your mantelpiece as well. 
always a tricky customer to come up against. So that is my five slowest players. What do you think in terms of who you've seen playing darts? This list might be completely perceptional to me. But I just thought it would be an interesting one for you to have a little look at who I thought the slowest. I will be doing some more videos like this looking at some of the more awkward players to play or the little quirks that players do during games. If you want to catch those videos, make sure you are subscribed for your one-stop location for darts. That is right here on Edgar TV. Go down below, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.